Hey everyone. Welcome hello, to... welcome to the hello, hello. channel. Welcome to the interview with Craig. Say hi, Craig. Hi, hi. So what did you do? Hello, everybody. What did you do, hello? Craig? What did you make? Uh, did I make a poo-poo? <laughs> <laughs> Craig made tall my no. Oh, that's right, yeah. And that's where we'll come in. Um, Onion will ask a few questions. Um, will I? Yeah. The questions that don't currently exist. Well, they do exist, but I haven't found them so yet. Craig, what made you want to make Total Minor? Good question. Um, it started just as a, just as a fun project. Um, because I saw Minecraft and I was interested how he actually did the game, how he made the, like, made the world out mm -hmm. of blocks. And so I just um, played around as a, just to see if I could do it on the Xbox uh, for fun. And it just sort of went from there. Mm. Was it difficult? Uh, not really. It was, I mean... At the beginning, it wasn't so difficult. Hmm. Have a cold. Um, but yeah, once you start getting, like, as always, doing stuff at the beginning, it's quite easy because it's, you know, you're just sort of doing quite simple sort of yeah, there's more and things. More. But yeah, but as it gets more and more involved, it becomes more and more difficult. But at the beginning, it was okay. Hmm. It was, uh, yeah. Did you hear a lot? Then I played some other. And I played some other indie games. Another one in particular was called Minor Dig Deep, which oh. was a game which was a 2D version of like a um, like a mining game where the idea was to dig uh, deeper and deeper in a very deep world, mm -hmm. and you had to get better and better equipment to get down through the rock. It got harder and harder. Uh -huh. So um, that game as well um, led me to make the Dig, dig Deep mode Total Miner. So, did, did you face a lot of hate with people saying it was a copy of Minecraft and all that? Obviously it's not, but... I, at first there was a lot, yeah. Um, for the first year or so it was quite bad, but after that people kind of relaxed about it and then it was not, not really been a problem since then. So do you... What's your back... Oh, go. Oh, no, you go, you go. What's your background encoded? Why did you learn to code? Uh, I started programming uh, when I was at school, and I had a little home computer. It wasn't well. It was called a. It wasn't a PC. It was just a thing called a Sega uh, SC uh, home computer. Mm. Uh, and I just started started making games on that after school. Um, when I left school, I got a job programming business applications because in New Zealand at that time there were there were no game programming jobs. Oh. Um, so I just did that, and then uh, a few years ago, two thousand eight, I think it was, I decided to leave my job and just give because the Microsoft XNA system had been just been opened. Yeah. Mm. So I decided to leave my job and give that a go, and actually make games for a living. Um, yeah, so that's when, how it started, really. When will we see the sequel to the golf game? To me, football golf. game. Oh, the football golf game. game. Oh, God. Uh, the, prob the, the problem with that was that it was written in XNA version 3, and it used a, it used a, um, used a, um, used a feature in XNA version 3 really heavily. Uh, which was no longer supported in version 4, so to get it to upgrade it to version 4 was actually a considerable amount of work. Mm -hmm. So I just never got around to doing it. Oh. So it's never going to happen, really. God, I see a lot that, was a, that was a fun game to make. Was it? Making all the, all the players move around and formations and, and all that sort of stuff. It was really fun. Mm. Gordinho asked... How long have you spent on Total Minor in hours? In hours? Mm -hmm. It's um, 
It's a bit tricky, but I'll give you a really rough estimate. It would be something like... Um, it, it would be... Well, it would be well over 10,000 hours. It would be... Somewhere between 10,000 and 15,000 hours, probably. Jeez. <laughs> I've had a monkey. Monkey wants to talk. It's not, it's not all programming. It's also testing and just... Um, you know, mm -hmm. all the all the other stuff that goes with it, not just programming. What is your actual programming would would be about probably two thirds of it. Mm. What would you say your thoughts are on Minecraft? Ah, uh, well, it's a great game. I, you know, it's it's what inspired me mainly to make this game. Mm -hmm. um, when I first played it, I was uh, I was amazed, and I. And I quite quickly understood how it was different to all the other games, mm -hmm. and just the, the pleasure of being able to just to dig under the ground and make make an underground um, castle or whatever. You know, it was just so unique mm -hmm. and so and so fun that you could just just hollow out the ground and make make whatever you wanted. And um, yeah, so it's well, obviously, and it speaks for itself for the success that it's just a. You know, fantastic, groundbreaking game. Yeah, I see a lot of people on the forums saying that they're going to work. Need advice for people wanting to code games for the first time. Yeah, just start really simple. Um, pick your language that you want to use. Start really simple. Just make loads of simple games, and just as you get more confident, just start to increase the complexity. And really, all it is to it. A lot of a lot of people think you need to have some special ability or something to be able to do it, but you don't. It's really 95% practice, 90 to 95% practice, uh, like most things, you know. Yeah. You just have to do it, but you have to enjoy it. It's one of those activities where if you don't enjoy it, if you're doing it because you want to do it for some other reason, for some reason other than enjoyment, you're going to really struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It takes a lot of perseverance. So if you don't enjoy it, I would say just don't do it. It's not it's not the thing for you but, but if you really enjoy doing it then go for it just make um you know just making games all the time uh -huh. would no i know you've answered this obviously we won't be seeing the return of the moon map but will we be seeing the return of hail you mean the seed yeah the hail well no maybe as a system map Uh, now the problem is right is that those seeds were added uh, on the old um, excuse me got block nose um, on the old the, the game was the, the code that used to generate the world originally was um, being replaced and and the new code is completely different and doesn't support mm -hmm. any of that sort of stuff I see so um, what I would rather do is I would rather open that up for modders to be able to modify the the world generation rather than me programming in specific. Yeah. You guys mind if I pop in here and say hello? <laughs> yeah, sure. You have hello. Hello. <laughs> I could tell straight away it was Jim from the voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I am a I am obnoxious, so you know. Yeah. Uh, Don't worry about it. <laughs> have, you got, have you got any nice questions? Uh, I asked uh, in the stream if Craig liked uh, kang kangaroo burgers. Um, do you like kangaroo burgers, Craig? Kangaroo burgers? Is that a thing, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. Um, I think so. I mean, like, back in Christmas, there was, like, this, uh, there's this Christmas market that comes to, like, the main... Um, capital of my uh my country and um they do like loads of foods from like around the world and they there was like this australian stand that had kangaroo burgers and i was just like i i don't know why but i instantly just thought of craig <laughs> Did you, know I don't, you know i don't live in, a, in australia right yeah i know that but like oh that's just me though you know that there's no kangaroos in my country right i just realized that you're not from australia <laughs> Oh no! I could ask if I like kiwi burger. Do you like? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> nah, that's shit. 
<laughs> no, there's no meat, no meat on the bone. They just like it's like yeah. a rabbit. Have you played uh, Fortnite, Craig? No, I haven't. No. What? I've, I've seen it, seen it, but I haven't played it yet. You're lucky, man. <laughs> Too busy getting doing dick deep and multiplayer. I'm uh, I'm addicted to Fortnite. <laughs> I need so, help. Craig, tell us. What? So is Fortnite better than Pug B, is it? Uh, I've never actually, I've never, um, I've never played PUBG. I have never, yeah, I mean, I've watched, like, my friend, like, play it, but I've never, like, gone into it myself, like, I don't know what it is, like, Fortnite just has, like, there's so much more colour to it, and just, like, the game just looks a whole lot nicer to look at, like, Pub PUBG just looks, like, really, it's, like, really grey and dull, and I don't know, that's just my right. opinion, like, but, anyways, um, I'll let you guys crack on. Because, you know, you know, PUBG, I mean, Fortnite copied PUBG, right? Yeah. 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 Fortnite was originally a um a completely different game. And then they added in the Battle Royale mode. Yeah, wasn't it um it was six zombies or something? Like what was it Save the World, I think it was called. Yeah, can't remember. Yeah, but, yeah anyway. Okay. What comes Should we get back to Total What comes after multiplayer? Uh well it's it's always it's a it's a it's a moving goalpost, but at the moment, I would like to get Infinite Worlds working after multiplayer mm -hmm. and custom avatars and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I have a question about Infinite Worlds. Would that ever be um, implemented to dig deep? Because there was like I remember having a discussion in the uh, on the Discord quite a it was a couple of weeks back, and people were saying, you know. If dig deep infinite worlds were possible, like how would the blueprints work? Because like, well, yeah, like would it be like the blueprints be found within like a two thousand by like say three thousand block radius, or like how would that work? If you know if you, if you know what I mean, like do you know what I'm getting at? Well, the po the point of blue of dig deep is to dig down. So yeah. infinite, infinite worlds for me is uh, pointless. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim, what we um we had like an idea where the world by default is the normal size, but once you get all the blueprints, the world kind of just starts generating infinitely. I think that would be kind of cool. A bit hard to do, maybe, but you know. But if you yeah. want that, just just use a survival map. Yeah, that's just the the deepness of it. I like. In my oh yeah, like in my opinion, survival is just so much more boring compared to dig deep. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love yeah, that game. I love that game. Once the um, once the, once the mob behavior gets better, it should yeah. be more fun. Yeah, like Dig Deep will always be my favorite mode on that, no matter what. Um, obviously, like it was the first game mode. Like when I first discovered Total Miner back in it was early t late two thousand and late two thousand eleven. Yeah. yeah, it was late two thousand and eleven. I found Total Miner and played dig deep and i must have played dig deep for a month straight with like a bunch of my friends like oh it was just the best thing ever i yeah, it, was, it was the only game made for a, for a while wasn't it yeah <laughs> yeah it was yeah and it was just it was so fun and then when creative came out like i gave it a go and i just didn't really get into it i just couldn't really get into creative for a while yeah it's for, it's for a different purpose yeah 100 percent um but I just remember like all the old glitches, <laughs> like you would fall like a thousand blocks and you take no damage and if you drop like 10 blocks you would die instantly, just all them wee, like funny glitches that were like, oh, yeah. just, I love, oh. What, oh. What's your opinion on the uh, Dig Deeper channel, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know really, I don't have one because I haven't really um, paid enough attention. Have you seen Digging Deep yet? No. Oh. Apart from when he lost his shot walk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw the one thing, yeah, where you where you lost the shot. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I was quite um devastated at that. That was funny because you were when you were looking for it. I was I was saying to myself, go there, go there, go there, and you were going everywhere but there. <laughs> you did, you did all, the, all the searching for, for, ten, for ten minutes. You searched around everywhere but the place where you got. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Here, um, I'm I'm gonna have to go here. Um, I have to get up really early in the morning. So thanks for letting me join, even though it was only short. But um, have a good time, all of you guys. Um, enjoy yourself.
Uh, nice talking to you again, Craig. You too. Th- Bye, you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Jim. I think we should uh, start wrapping it now as well, because... Oh, I had two questions. Oh, yeah. Ask them, yeah. Shoot. Go on, right. Okay, so let's talk about some maps. What sort of... It's kind of a two-part question, really. What sort of maps do you like visiting? Like, because I know you used to visit quite a lot in the early days. And also, what sort of... What's your favourite map? Or, like, top three maps you've seen being built on the game? Um... I like I like building maps that have, that have got really nice building. Mm-hmm. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Just really nice, uh, grand, detailed building. I've seen lots and lots, but the ones that stand out of my stand out of my memory are um, World One from. Baldy Gargoyle, which was a big castle in the middle of the map, and then it had a big chasm down the centre of the castle. Yeah. And that castle was made of rhyolite. Um, and it had a like a, a river a river coming up to it, and a, a town around the water leading up to the castle. Oh. Um, I really liked Your Soul's um, RPG map that was really good that was fully built out for the, across the whole map mm-hmm. um, there's been quite a lot actually but I can't remember the names of them but I've, I've got I've, I've got quite a few I use for testing still from the old Xbox even way back as version 1.5 really 1.6 versions good maps from way back then yeah. Do you actually, have any when tips? I when I visited uh, Baldy Gargoyle's map, that was actually how I met him, and how he started working with me, helping me test and building the system components and stuff like that. Oh. Do you have any tips for people building maps? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I give you the game. You guys do. You guys do do with it what you yeah. can. The, the thing I like about the game is you can just build what. Some imagination, you can just think, right? I'm going to build a city, and then build it. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the real yeah. That's the great thing about these types of games. And that's also why I tried to focus more on the creative side. Um, uh, tried to give you know the, the people who build maps as much tools as possible to really help them express their you know what they want to what they want to build. Hmm. Yeah. Rather than just placing blocks manually, trying to help them out and save them time and be interested so they can realise what they want to do. Oh, sounds pretty good. Uh, I hate to cut it short, but we're gonna, that's all we have time for tonight. So, thank you, Craig, for joining us. It was great having you and everyone else here. Hello. Uh, Thanks, guys. No problem. Thank you. It's good having you. Thank you very much, and um, we hope you guys um, have a have a good night. And as always, yeah, you guys dig too. Dig I'll take a look at the Dig Deeper channel as well. Thank you. I'll leave, I'll leave a few comments. Very well. Yep.